Hello and welcome back to the 4 Science Sala Latvi channel. We're so excited to have you with us today. Whether you're a longtime subscriber or a new viewer, we're thrilled to share our passion for science with you. If you're a fan of groundbreaking scientific research, then you're in the right place. We delve into the latest discoveries and innovations. I want to start by offering a huge thank you and congratulations to the outstanding researchers who have conducted an incredibly important and valuable study. Their dedication and hard work are truly inspiring. Their hard work is contributing to a deeper understanding of how we can protect the brain from radiation damage. This research is a significant step forward in the field of neuroscience. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into their findings and explore the implications of their work. Today's featured study is titled, The Impact of Diindolyl Methane on Brain Injury in Rats Exposed to Gamma Radiation. This research focuses on the protective potential of diindolyl methane, a compound with well-known anti-cancer properties against brain injury caused by exposure to gamma radiation. Now let's take a moment to recognize the brilliant team behind this groundbreaking work. Their dedication and expertise have been instrumental in pushing the boundaries of scientific knowledge. The study is authored by Dr. Ahmed Hamad, a leading figure in the field, and Professor Dr. Helen Sada, whose contributions have been invaluable. The corresponding author, Professor Dr. Noaman El-Tahawi, is also a key member of the team. All three are from the Radiation Biology Department at the National Center for Radiation Research and Technology, Egyptian Atomic Energy Authority, Cairo, Egypt. In addition, we're honored to have Professor Dr. Nadia Morcos, whose extensive research has significantly advanced our understanding in this field. And last but not least, Professor Dr. Dina Saudi, who is the head of the Biochemistry Department at the Faculty of Sciences, Ain Shams University, Cairo, Egypt. Her leadership and insights have been crucial to the success of this project. This impactful study was published in the Kyari. It was received on March 23, 2022 and accepted on May 22, 2022. The paper appears in Volume 35, Issue 1, December 2022, on pages 1 to 11. It's inspiring to see how this groundbreaking research could lead to significant breakthroughs in protecting the brain from radiation damage. The dedication and hard work of these scientists are truly commendable. This research has significant implications in critical areas like cancer treatment, potentially improving the quality of life for countless patients. Additionally, it opens new doors in the realm of space exploration, ensuring the safety of astronauts on long-duration missions. A big thank you to the researchers for their invaluable contributions to science and humanity. And a special shout-out to all the teams involved in these projects. That's it for today. Make sure to subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon so you stay updated with the latest in scientific research. Your support helps us bring you more exciting content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of science. The universe is a vast and awe-inspiring place. It is also home to powerful forces, some of which pose a threat to life. Gamma radiation, a high-energy form of electromagnetic radiation, is one such force. Emitted during radioactive decay and other cosmic events, gamma rays possess incredible penetrating power. This allows them to pass through solid objects, including our bodies. High doses can have devastating effects on living organisms. One of the most concerning targets is the human brain. The organ responsible for our thoughts and emotions is particularly vulnerable. Exposure can lead to a range of neurological problems. These can vary from headaches and dizziness to seizures and cognitive impairment. Thankfully, scientists are researching ways to protect the brain from radiation damage. The human brain is an incredibly complex organ. It is responsible for everything that makes us human. 
our thoughts, emotions, memories, and actions. This intricate network of billions of neurons, or nerve cells, allows us to process information, control our movements, and experience the world around us. However, this complexity comes at a price. The brain is also incredibly vulnerable to damage. Unlike other organs in the body, the brain has a limited capacity for self-repair. When neurons are damaged, they often cannot regenerate. This makes protecting the brain from injury of paramount importance. Unfortunately, the brain's delicate structure is particularly susceptible to the damaging effects of gamma radiation. Gamma rays can penetrate the skull and interact with the atoms within brain cells. This interaction can knock electrons off those atoms, ionizing them. Ionization can lead to the formation of free radicals, highly reactive molecules that can cause widespread damage within cells. In the brain, this damage can manifest in a variety of ways. In the quest to protect the brain from radiation damage, scientists have turned to nature's medicine cabinet. Among the many promising compounds identified, di-indolylmethane (DM) stands out as a potential shield against gamma radiation's harmful effects. Found naturally in cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, kale and Brussels sprouts, DIM is a product of the body's breakdown of a compound called indole-3-carbonyl, I3C. While I3C itself possesses antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, DIM appears to be the more potent compound when it comes to protecting the brain from radiation. Studies have shown that DIM possesses a range of biological activities that contribute to its protective effects. These include antioxidant, anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer properties. One of the key mechanisms by which DM protects the brain is by scavenging free radicals. Remember those highly reactive molecules formed when gamma radiation interacts with atoms in our cells? DM can neutralize these free radicals, preventing them from causing further damage. This antioxidant activity is crucial in mitigating the oxidative stress induced by gamma radiation. Scientists conducted a study using a rat model to investigate DIM's protective potential against gamma radiation-induced brain damage. Rats were chosen because their brains share similarities with human brains. This makes them valuable for studying neurological disorders and treatments. Both young and aged rats were used to understand the effects of gamma radiation and DIM's protection. Section 5. Gamma Radiation's Assault on Brain Cells A closer look. Gamma radiation had significant detrimental effects on the rats' brains, particularly in the hippocampus. The hippocampus is crucial for learning and memory. It is vulnerable to damage from oxidative stress induced by radiation. One key finding was the disruption of mitochondria. Mitochondria are the powerhouses of cells, producing energy. Gamma radiation led to mitochondrial dysfunction, impairing energy production. Section 6. Dim to the rescue. Shielding the brain from damage. The study's most compelling findings emerged when the researchers examined the brains of rats pre-treated with DIM. In both young and aged rats, DM pre-treatment significantly mitigated the damaging effects of gamma radiation. The researchers observed a reduction in mitochondrial dysfunction, with DM treated rats showing improved mitochondrial enzyme activity compared to their untreated counterparts. This suggests that DIM helps protect the brain cell's energy production machinery from the damaging effects of radiation. It is like providing a shield to the powerhouses of the cells, 
allowing them to continue functioning even under the stress of radiation exposure. Moreover, DAM pretreatment effectively reduced the levels of inflammatory markers in the brains of irradiated rats. Inflammation is the body's natural response to injury or infection, but chronic inflammation can be harmful, contributing to a range of diseases. By reducing inflammation in the brain, DIM helps create a more favorable environment for brain cells to recover from radiation-induced damage. Section 7. The Age Factor. Young brains more susceptible. Interestingly, the study also revealed differences in the effects of gamma radiation and DM's protection between young and aged rats. Young rats appeared to be more susceptible to the damaging effects of radiation. This is likely because young brains are still developing and therefore more vulnerable to insults. However, DM's protective effects were also more pronounced in young rats. This suggests that DM might be particularly effective in mitigating radiation-induced damage during brain development. This finding has significant implications for children undergoing radiotherapy, as it highlights the potential of DM to protect their developing brains from radiation's harmful effects. Section 8. Promising Implications for Radiotherapy Patients the findings of this study hold immense promise for individuals undergoing radiotherapy, particularly those receiving radiation to the head and neck region for cancers like brain tumors, head and neck cancers, and leukemia. Radiotherapy, while an effective cancer treatment, can unintentionally damage healthy brain tissue, leading to cognitive impairment and other neurological problems. DIM with its ability to protect brain cells from radiation damage, emerges as a potential adjuvant therapy for radiotherapy patients. By mitigating the side effects of radiation on the brain, DM could improve the quality of life for these patients, allowing them to retain their cognitive function and overall well-being. Imagine a future where cancer patients undergoing radiotherapy can receive DIM as a protective measure reducing their risk of developing cognitive problems and other neurological side effects. DIM's natural origin and its safety profile make it an attractive candidate for further clinical investigation. Section 9. Looking ahead. Future research and potential applications. While the findings of this study are encouraging, Further research is needed to fully elucidate the protective mechanisms of DIM and determine its optimal dosage and delivery methods for human use. Clinical trials are crucial to confirm DIM's efficacy in protecting human brains from radiation damage and to evaluate its long-term safety in radiotherapy patients. The scientific journey to understand and mitigate the harmful effects of radiation on the human brain is ongoing. DM's emergence as a potential shield against gamma radiation-induced brain damage is a testament to the power of nature's medicine cabinet. As we continue to explore the cosmos and harness powerful forces for the betterment of humanity, understanding how to protect our most precious organ. The brain, from invisible threats like gamma radiation, becomes increasingly crucial. Hey there, science fans. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of radiation and its impact on our brains. Radiation, like the gamma rays we're talking about today, can be harmful to living things. It's like getting a sunburn, but on the inside. When radiation hits our brains, it can damage cells and lead to problems with how our brains work. This is especially important when we think about things like space travel or even medical treatments that use radiation. Protecting our brains from radiation is crucial. And that's where our tiny heroes, the lab rats, come in. In this study, scientists wanted to see if a special compound called DIM could protect rat brains from damage caused by gamma radiation. 
So put on your thinking caps and let's explore how DIM might be the key to safeguarding our amazing brains from the invisible dangers of radiation. In this study, scientists used rats to understand how radiation affects the brain. Rats are often used in research because their bodies work similarly to ours. Don't worry, the scientists took good care of the rats. They lived in a clean, comfortable environment with plenty of food and water. These furry little creatures are helping us learn how to protect ourselves from the harmful effects of radiation. Their bravery in the name of science is truly remarkable. Just like humans, rats can be affected differently by things depending on their age. To study this, the scientists divided the rats into groups based on how old they were. Some rats were young adults, while others were older. By studying rats of different ages, the researchers could see if DIM worked better for younger or older brains. This is important because it can help us understand how to protect people of all ages from radiation damage. Section 4. Zapping with Gamma Rays, Mimicking Radiation Exposure To see how radiation affects the brain, the scientists exposed some of the rats to gamma rays. They did this in a safe and controlled environment using a special machine. Think of it like a powerful X-ray machine specifically designed for research. The scientists were careful to use a specific dose of radiation that wouldn't be immediately harmful to the rats. This way, they could study the long-term effects of radiation exposure and see if DIM could prevent any damage. Section 5, DIM to the rescue, a potential protective shield. DIM, short for 3,3-deindolylmethane, is a natural compound found in cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower. It has antioxidant properties, meaning it can protect cells from damage. In this study, the scientists wanted to see if giving DIM to rats before exposing them to gamma radiation could protect their brains from damage. They fed some of the rats with DIM every day for a certain period before and after the radiation exposure. Section 6. Examining the evidence inside the rat brains. After the rats were exposed to radiation, the scientists examined their brains. They looked for signs of damage caused by the radiation, such as mitochondrial damage. Mitochondria are like tiny powerhouses inside our cells that provide energy. Radiation can damage these powerhouses, making it hard for cells to function properly. Oxidative stress. Radiation can create harmful molecules called free radicals that damage cells. This is called oxidative stress, inflammation markers. Inflammation is our body's way of fighting off injury or infection. Too much inflammation in the brain can be harmful. By looking at these factors, the scientists could tell if DIM protected the rat's brains from radiation damage. Section 7, Promising Results, DIM's Potential Impact. The study found that DIM might be helpful in protecting brains from radiation damage, Rats that received DIM had less damage to their brains compared to those that didn't receive DIM. This suggests that DIM might act as a shield, reducing the harmful effects of radiation on brain cells. This research is still in its early stages, but it offers hope for developing new ways to protect people from radiation exposure. It highlights the importance of a healthy diet and the potential of natural compounds like DIM in safeguarding our brains. Remember, science is a journey of discovery, and every experiment brings us closer to understanding the world around us. Stay curious. Deindolylmethane, or DIM, is a fascinating compound found in cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and even kale. These vegetables are not only nutritious, but also contain powerful compounds that can benefit our health in numerous ways. When you consume these veggies, your body converts indole-3-carbonyl into DM. This conversion process is crucial because DM has been shown to support brain health, particularly as we age. It plays a significant role in maintaining cognitive function and overall brain vitality. The brain, with its high energy demands, is highly susceptible to damage from oxidative stress and inflammation. These factors can lead to cognitive decline and various neurological disorders over time. Emerging research suggests that DIM might help shield the brain from harmful environmental toxins and radiation. This protective effect is particularly important in our modern world, where exposure to such hazards is increasingly common. DIM supports mitochondrial function, which is essential for energy production in brain cells. It also combats oxidative stress and inflammation, 
two major contributors to brain aging and dysfunction. In this chapter, we'll explore how DIM interacts with various cellular processes and its effects on both young and aged rats. These studies provide valuable insights into how DM might be used to promote brain health across different life stages. Join me as we uncover the potential of DM to promote healthy brain aging. We'll delve into the latest research findings and discuss how this compound could be a game changer in the field of neuroscience. Let's dive into the intriguing world of DM and its potential protective effects on the brain. Together, we'll explore the science behind this remarkable compound and its promise for future brain health. Gamma radiation is high-energy ionizing radiation that can harm living organisms by damaging DNA and proteins. Even low levels of exposure over time can contribute to oxidative stress and cellular damage. The brain, with its high metabolic activity, is particularly vulnerable to gamma radiation. Exposure can lead to cognitive impairment and an increased risk of neurodegenerative diseases. Protecting our brains from gamma radiation is crucial for cognitive health. DM shows promise as a potential protective agent against these effects. Mitochondria, the powerhouses of our cells, are vital for energy production, especially in the brain. Gamma radiation can damage mitochondria, disrupting ATP production and leading to oxidative stress and cell death. This damage is particularly concerning in the brain, where energy demands are high. Disruption of mitochondrial function can contribute to cognitive decline and accelerated brain aging. Understanding gamma radiation's effects on mitochondria is crucial for brain protection. DIM's potential to support mitochondrial function might help mitigate radiation damage and promote brain health. DIM shows promise in mitigating mitochondrial damage caused by gamma radiation, particularly in its effect on ATP and MTNOS levels. This compound, derived from cruciferous vegetables, has been the focus of numerous studies due to its potential protective properties. Studies suggest DM can help maintain ATP levels in the brain after radiation exposure. ATP, or adenosine triphosphate, is crucial for energy transfer within cells, and its preservation is vital for brain function. This indicates DIM might protect mitochondria, ensuring a steady energy supply for cellular processes. Mitochondria, often referred to as the powerhouses of the cell, are essential for producing the energy that cells need to function properly. Another key player is MTNOS, an enzyme regulating nitric oxide production within mitochondria. Nitric oxide plays a role in various cellular functions, but its levels must be carefully controlled. Excessive nitric oxide can contribute to oxidative stress and damage mitochondria. Oxidative stress is a harmful condition that occurs when there's an imbalance between free radicals and antioxidants in the body. DIM modulates MTNOS activity, potentially reducing oxidative damage. By regulating this enzyme, DIM helps maintain a balance, protecting cells from the harmful effects of oxidative stress. In aged rats, DIM's protective effects on ATP and MTNOS levels are more pronounced. This is particularly important as aging is often associated with increased oxidative stress and mitochondrial dysfunction. This suggests DM might be particularly beneficial in mitigating age-related mitochondrial dysfunction. The potential to improve mitochondrial health in the elderly could have significant implications for age-related diseases. Further research is needed to explore its therapeutic potential for preventing radiation-induced brain damage. Understanding the full scope of DM's benefits could lead to new treatments for protecting brain health. Oxidative stress is an imbalance in the body's defense against free radicals, which are unstable molecules that can cause significant harm. This imbalance can damage cells and contribute to aging and various diseases, including cancer and cardiovascular conditions. Gamma radiation significantly contributes to oxidative stress by creating free radicals, which are highly reactive and can cause extensive cellular damage. This damage can affect critical cellular components such as DNA, proteins, and lipids, disrupting normal cellular function and leading to potential cell death. 
the brain is particularly vulnerable to oxidative stress due to its high metabolic activity and relatively low levels of antioxidant defenses, making it a prime target for damage. Oxidative stress in the brain is linked to several neurological disorders, including Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease, which can severely impact quality of life. Protecting the brain from oxidative stress is crucial for maintaining cognitive function and overall brain health, as it helps prevent the onset of these debilitating conditions. Diem's antioxidant properties might help mitigate oxidative damage caused by gamma radiation, offering a potential protective measure against such stress. By scavenging free radicals, DIM could protect the brain from harmful effects, potentially preserving cognitive function and reducing the risk of neurological disorders. DIM acts as a potent antioxidant, neutralizing free radicals and boosting the body's natural defenses. It increases the activity of antioxidant enzymes like superoxide dismutase, SOD, and catalase. These enzymes are crucial for neutralizing free radicals and preventing oxidative damage. DIM enhances the expression and activity of these enzymes, boosting the body's ability to combat oxidative stress. DIM also directly scavenges free radicals, preventing cellular damage. Studies show DM reduces oxidative stress markers in the brain, counteracting radiation damage. By enhancing antioxidant defenses, DM offers a multifaceted approach to combating oxidative stress. This antioxidant activity is key to DIM's protection against gamma radiation induced brain damage. Inflammation and apoptosis are natural responses to injury or stress, but chronic or excessive processes can cause tissue damage. Gamma radiation can trigger both inflammation and apoptosis in the brain. Inflammation activates immune cells and releases inflammatory molecules, which can damage healthy brain cells. Apoptosis, or programmed cell death, eliminates damaged cells, but can lead to neuron loss. This loss impairs cognitive function and contributes to neurodegenerative diseases. Protecting the brain from radiation-induced inflammation and apoptosis is crucial. DM's potential to modulate these processes might help mitigate radiation damage. By influencing inflammation and apoptosis, DIM supports brain health. DIM exhibits protective effects against gamma radiation by modulating inflammatory markers in the brain. It influences the activity of cells and molecules involved in the inflammatory response. DIM targets TNFA, a pro-inflammatory cytokine, reducing its production and dampening inflammation. Microglia, the brain's immune cells, are also modulated by DIM, preventing excessive activation. DIM suppresses COX-2 activity, reducing the production of inflammatory mediators. By modulating these markers, DIM reduces inflammation and protects brain cells. DIM's ability to regulate inflammation highlights its potential as a therapeutic agent. By dampening the inflammatory response, DIM supports brain recovery from radiation exposure. Serotonin, the happy hormone, is crucial for mood regulation, sleep, appetite, and cognitive function. Gamma radiation can disrupt serotonin signaling, leading to neurological effects. Radiation can damage serotonin-producing neurons and alter enzyme activity, disrupting serotonin balance. Disruptions in serotonin signaling are linked to disorders like depression and anxiety. Protecting serotonin signaling is crucial for cognitive function and emotional well-being. Diem's potential to influence serotonin metabolism is significant. By modulating enzymes involved in serotonin degradation, DIM might mitigate radiation's negative effects. DIM supports brain health by maintaining serotonin balance. DIM influences serotonin metabolism and interacts with monoamine oxidase, MAO, an enzyme regulating neurotransmitter levels. Gamma radiation can disrupt MAO activity, leading to serotonin imbalances. DIM modulates MAO activity, potentially maintaining serotonin balance despite radiation exposure. Studies show DIM alters MAO activity, with more pronounced effects in aged rats. This suggests DIM's benefits might be greater in the aging brain.
DIMS influence on MAO extends to other neurotransmitters like dopamine and norepinephrine. By modulating MAO, DIM offers broader protection against radiation-induced neurological effects. DIM's impact on serotonin metabolism highlights its potential as a neuroprotective agent. As we age, our bodies change. This is a fact of life. Our brains, unfortunately, are no exception. Like a car with many miles, the brain gradually shows signs of wear and tear. This can manifest as subtle changes in memory, a bit more difficulty focusing, or even trouble multitasking. While these changes are a normal part of aging, they can be frustrating and concerning. The good news is that there's a lot we can do to protect our brains as we age. Understanding the science behind brain aging is the first step. Free radicals are like little troublemakers in the body. They're produced naturally as our cells use energy. Think of them as byproducts of our body's natural processes. However, these free radicals can damage cells if there are too many of them. They can interact with important molecules in the cell, like DNA and proteins, causing them to malfunction. Normally, our bodies have ways to neutralize these free radicals. We have antioxidants, which are like little cleanup crews that come in and neutralize the free radicals, preventing them from causing too much damage. But as we age, this balance can shift. Our antioxidant defenses weaken, and we may produce more free radicals. This leads to a buildup of damage which contributes to the aging process, not just in the brain but throughout the body. Now you might be wondering, what does this have to do with the brain? Well remember how we talked about the brain's high energy demands? That high energy production comes at a cost, more free radicals. Scientists have been studying the link between oxidative stress and brain aging for a long time. One way they do this is by looking at something called oxidative stress markers. These are like little red flags that indicate damage from free radicals. One study compared the brains of aged rats to those of younger rats. They found that the older rats had significantly higher levels of these oxidative stress markers. This tells us that oxidative stress is indeed happening at a higher rate in older brains. Three of these markers are particularly important, MDA, Colorado, and 8-OHDG. MDA and CO are indicators of damage to fats, which are important components of our cells. 8-OHDG, on the other hand, signals damage to DNA, our genetic blueprint. These findings suggest that oxidative stress is a key player in brain aging. Section 4. The Cellular Powerhouse Under Attack, Mitochondria and Aging To understand another piece of the puzzle, we need to zoom in on a tiny but mighty component of our cells, the mitochondria. Mitochondria are often called the powerhouses of the cell. They're responsible for producing the energy that our cells need to function. Remember how we talked about the brain's high energy demands? Well, that makes mitochondria especially important for brain health. Unfortunately, mitochondria are also vulnerable to damage from free radicals. As we age, our mitochondria become less efficient. They produce less energy and generate more free radicals, creating a vicious cycle of damage. This mitochondrial dysfunction is thought to be a major contributor to the decline in brain function that we see with age. Section 5. Inflammation and Cell Death – A Vicious Cycle in the Aging Brain Now let's talk about inflammation. You're probably familiar with inflammation as the body's response to injury or infection. It's a natural and important part of healing. However, chronic, low-grade inflammation can be harmful, especially in the brain. Oxidative stress can actually trigger inflammation in the brain. This is where cells called microglia come into play. Microglia are like the brain's immune cells, constantly patrolling and keeping things in check. When they sense danger, like damage from free radicals, they become activated and release inflammatory molecules, one of which is called TNF-alpha. While this inflammatory response is meant to be protective, chronic activation of microglia can actually damage neurons and contribute to brain aging. Prolonged inflammation can also lead to something called apoptosis, which is essentially programmed cell death. It's a way for the body to get rid of damaged or dysfunctional cells. While apoptosis is a normal process, excessive apoptosis, driven by chronic inflammation, can lead to a loss of brain cells, contributing to cognitive decline. Section 6. DIM, a dietary shield against brain aging. So what can we do to protect our brains from the ravages of oxidative stress and inflammation? Well, diet plays a crucial role, 
Eating a diet rich in antioxidants is one of the best ways to combat free radical damage. And there's one group of vegetables that deserves a special mention, cruciferous vegetables. These include broccoli, cauliflower, kale, and Brussels sprouts. Cruciferous vegetables contain a compound called deindolilmethane, or DIM for short. DIM has shown some promising effects in preclinical studies. Research suggests that DIM might be able to enhance the body's antioxidant defenses, reduce inflammation, and even protect mitochondria from damage. While these findings are encouraging, it's important to remember that more research, particularly in humans, is needed to understand the full potential of DIM for brain health. So, should you start incorporating more cruciferous vegetables into your diet? Absolutely! They're packed with essential nutrients and fiber. While we await further research on DIM, a healthy diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains is always a good idea for overall health and well-being, including brain health. Remember, taking care of your brain is a lifelong journey. As we come to the end of our discussion on this fascinating research, it's important to reflect on the incredible effort and dedication that has gone into making this study a reality. I want to take a moment to express our deep gratitude to the brilliant team of researchers who have made this important study possible. Their tireless work, innovative thinking, and unwavering commitment have paved the way for groundbreaking discoveries. Once again, a huge thank you to the authors, Dr. Ahmed Hamid, whose expertise and leadership have been instrumental in guiding this research, to the authors, Dr. Ahmed Hamid, Professor Dr. Helen Sada, whose insights and contributions have enriched the study immensely, and the corresponding author, Professor Dr. Noman Eltahawi, whose coordination and vision have been crucial in bringing this project to fruition. All from the Radiation Biology Department at the National Center for Radiation Research and Technology, a hub of scientific excellence and innovation, Egyptian Atomic Energy Authority in Cairo, Egypt. Their collective efforts have not only advanced our understanding of radiation biology but have also set a new benchmark for future research in this field. We are truly grateful for their contributions and look forward to seeing the continued impact of their work. Special thanks also to Professor Dr. Nadia Morcos, whose expertise and dedication have significantly advanced our research. Her innovative approaches and tireless efforts have been a cornerstone of our progress. We also extend our heartfelt gratitude to Professor Dr. Dina Shudi, who is the head of the Biochemistry Department at the Faculty of Sciences, Ain Shams University, Cairo, Egypt. Her leadership and profound knowledge have guided our team through complex biochemical challenges. Their contributions, especially in the biochemical aspects of this study, have been truly invaluable. The insights and support from both professors have not only enriched our work, but have also inspired us to push the boundaries of scientific discovery. This research has advanced our understanding of how diindolilmethane could help protect the brain from radiation-induced injury, opening up exciting possibilities for future medical applications. And of course, a big thank you to our viewers for tuning into our channel and supporting our content. Your engagement and enthusiasm are what keep us motivated to bring you the latest and most fascinating research. We hope you found this research as fascinating as we did. Our team of dedicated scientists and researchers work tirelessly to uncover new insights and breakthroughs, and it's your interest that makes it all worthwhile. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on any of our updates. By subscribing you become a part of our growing community of science enthusiasts. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, as it helps us understand what content you love and want to see more of, and hit the bell icon to stay up to date with more cutting-edge scientific discoveries. This way you'll be the first to know whenever we release a new video. Your support means the world to us, and it drives us to continue exploring and sharing the wonders of science. We look forward to bringing you more exciting content in the future. Our team is already working on the next set of intriguing topics and experiments to share with you. Thank you once again for your unwavering support, and see you in the next video. Stay curious and keep exploring.